The third preview of Odomax.6, Rock the Vote, brings the engine's brand new mapless and voting system to the forefront. This voting system's power truly harnesses Odomax's ability to change mods on the fly, creating the most powerful voting system in any Doom multiplayer engine. The voting options in Odomax.6 are robust and offer common and specialized votes for different types of play. By using the new call vote command, players will be able to change basic server settings such as the frag limit, time limit, or score limit. To counter disruptive or inactive players, votes can also be called to force another client into spectator mode or to kick them from the server entirely. Players in a more competitive mood can use the new RAN CAPS vote, which will select a captain for each team in team modes like Capture the Flag. From there, captains can select players just like a schoolyard game of dodgeball. If players want to mix up their teams even more, there is a RAN pickup vote, which will randomize a set number of players between the two teams. The home run of the voting feature is the ability to vote on maps from a selection of many different wads. Now, one concern players might have is how large the map list could get, making it difficult to find the specific map you're looking for. The Odomex team has you covered though, with the ability to use wild cards when searching the map list and vote. If this sounds confusing to you, it might be better to just show you what I'm talking about, so let's take a look at an example. The following server has over 1600 maps available in the map list. There are over 100 actual wads in this list. With a list that long, it could be difficult to know exactly what wads are even available on the server. However, by using the wildcard system, a player can get a good idea of the available wads by passing the command map list map 1. By using that command, the player will receive a version of the map list that only shows map 1 from each wad. Your response might be, well that's great, but I still have to go through the rest of the list to find the ID numbers of the later maps. Once again, no worries. Say for instance you want to see what Dwango maps are on the server. You can pass the command map list Dwango to get a complete list of each Dwango entry in the map list. If you want to be more specific, you could pass the command map list Dwango 5 to get the rundown of each map from that specific wad. Although you can vote by using specific identification numbers in the map list, you can also vote for a map using the same type of wild cards you just heard about. In most instances, what you think should work probably will. For example, if you want to vote and go to map 18 of Dwango 5, you could issue the command call vote map Dwango 5 map 18. If there are too many conflicting entries, Odomax will ask you to be more specific, so there is no need to be concerned about accidentally voting for a map you didn't intend on. These commands require no special modifications from server administrators other than having a map list. Almost 20 years after Doom's release, isn't it about time that players have the ultimate control over what they want to play? That does it for the preview of Odomax.6's Point6's new voting system. This is just one of the many new useful features that you can expect from the upcoming version. Keep checking in every Monday for continued previews of Odomax.6. Point6. You might find a surprise or two as you prepare yourself for the resurrection of Doom Multiplayer.